Hey everybody, how's it going? The Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back for more Donkey Kong Country. This time we're taking on the second to last world, Kremco Industries. As you can see here, there's going to be lots of fire, lots of barrels with fire in them. It's going to be intense. Let's see what happens. So as you can see, our first level here, really basic. It really is just meant to, you know, show off the aesthetic of this world really. Uh, this is evil looking industrial platform world. They put a lot of crap in front of your face. Look at all this stuff. The chains and pipes and, and beavers. My god, they're everywhere. But uh, anyhow, pretty straightforward kind of level. How's everyone doing today? Hope you're in, uh, enjoying my uh, Donkey Kong Country playthrough. Only a few more videos left before we move on to something different. And I assure you it will be just as fun, hopefully even more fun. Um, as taking the spot of this will be Lufia 2, an awesome, very underrated RPG for the Super Nintendo. Really hope you guys join me for that one. That should be lots of fun to play through. I haven't done it in, in years, so I'm looking forward to it myself. But as you can see here, nothing out of the ordinary. Same old enemies, these blue jumping guys. I've seen them before. These evil orangutan guys who really look, you know, more like monkeys. Maybe it's just the fact that they're not wearing clothes makes them look more like monkeys. Really angry. Maybe that's why they're throwing barrels, because we took their clothes. You ever think that? I don't know. I think weird things playing this game. But anyhow, so there's kind of a gimmick for the stage is you have to wait for this fire to die down in these oil barrels and get these chains and pipes in front of me. Make it, oh, oh, totally got nailed there. All right, all right, I'll take that one. Don't worry, not dead yet, though. Not dead yet. Hanging tough, hanging tough indeed. Oh, man, so I'm trying to think of a show to watch. I'm going to watch that Terra Nova show tonight. Uh, I'm actually recording this the day before I put this out. I'm going to watch that Terra Nova show tonight, and then uh, tomorrow, well, not tomorrow, but in a couple of days, I'll tell you what I think about it. It's got that guy from that Avatar movie. I wasn't a huge fan of the Avatar movie, but it's got that bad guy, that bad old guy who's completely crazy. Oh, man. I, I wonder how he's going to do in that. Looks like they're trying to bring back Jurassic Park. They have the new Jurassic Park game coming out, too, pretty soon. And boom, there's the exit of that level. Uh, the new Jurassic Park game coming out pretty soon. It's kind of like a rail kind of a shooter kind of a thing. I don't know. I saw a little bit of it from the guys at Far From Subtle when they were at PAX. But uh, I don't know. Trying to resurrect the old dinosaur genre. Good try, though. Good try. Uh, this level's really annoying. This level actually I had to practice a bit, too, because uh, I just didn't really know what to expect with it. And um, it, it's long because you have to be on this rail the whole time. Speaking of rails... Stuck on this rail the whole time, so you kind of have to play by uh, by the game here. Unfortunately, you can just take incredible leaps of faith and hope that you're going to end up in a good spot. Just not the way that it goes. Um, if you guys haven't checked it out already, check out my um, Ninja Gaiden finale. The final uh, video came out yesterday, and I think it's pretty good. You know, I, w I was definitely very relieved when I beat that game because, oh man, look at this guy. Slow down, shooting nuts at me. Nuts in the face. Don't, don't, don't appreciate that. But anyhow, I get off topic very often when I'm doing these uh, these dub overs. But uh, yeah, finished up Ninja Gaiden. It went up really well, I thought. So check it out if you haven't. You know, maybe you're uh, maybe you're not serious into retro gaming. Um, I know a lot of people watch me because they enjoy my Pokemon videos, and that's totally cool. Oh, that was close there. Uh, that's totally cool if you're just into me for the, the Pokemon videos because, uh, you know, I really I was going to do Pokemon down the lines anyway. The reason it ended up being my first LP, which I think I've mentioned in videos previously, was just because I found out how to record on my um, Game Boy Advance emulator before I found out how to record on anything else. I uh, really figured out how to use Hypercam really well. So, um, yeah, if you want to keep watching Pokemon, I'm going to play all the way through. Although, I'm pretty sure I can tell you this now, as I've been reading some game facts about it, because I've never actually beaten um, Leaf Green before, but it's, you know, it's just like the red and blue versions, which is why I'm playing it, obviously. Um, but there's the part right for you beat um, Blaine, I believe that's his name, the, the guy that you get the seventh badge from on Cinnabar Island. Well, why didn't that guy attack me? Why was he just standing there like that? Um... But uh, there's that guy, and after you beat him, then you have the choice to go on a side quest where you can get Generation 2 Pokemon. And I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I really don't think I am. That's just, you know, not part of what I grew up with. But uh, if you guys really think it's worthwhile, then I'll try to do it. There's tons of side quests in that game, by the way. I didn't even realize how many there are until I saw a walkthrough of it on GameFAQs. And half of the walkthrough was, like, half the, the big scrolling page was just uh, side quests. <laughs> I mean, look at the guy <laughs> hanging out with me on my little trip. Treadmill thing. Oh, he's adorable. Anyhow. Oh, more orangutan guys. They're so angry. Took all their clothes. I got you a tie, bitch! Anyhow. 
enough of that. Moving on, nice zigzag pattern here. We're going to go to the elevator antics. Uh, this is a good leap of faith stage, if you ask me. Damn it, I always miss that rope. Damn, gonna need some rope. Oh, can't quite get it. I'm sure it's nothing too important. Uh, probably is. Maybe it's a chance for me to finally play that damn frog bonus game. Oh, seriously? Oh, that was just mean. A lot of snakes here. They actually try to use snakes as a as a real enemy in this level. And normally they're just like kind of fodder. But uh, they got these uh, barrels that are making uh, enemies now, so why the hell not? But boom, got DK back. Um, I was trying to decide who I liked more in this game, DK or Diddy, and uh, it's kind of hard to say. I think I like I like Diddy Kong a bit more just because he's, he's smaller. Um, I don't know if he's quicker or not. Maybe that's just my perception of it. Oh, man, look at this part. Jesus. Um, maybe that's just how... I, oh, come on. Why didn't the jump button more work there for me? Uh, he's just less of a target, though. Um, it also comes down to the way that he holds the barrels. You know, some people, like, uh, some people hold the barrels this way. No. No, but DK, like, right there, like, man, I almost got hit by that snake. You know? I like it when he just holds it out in front of him so he just can, like, run freely and ram right out of her into... Oh, shit, that was close. Oh, oh, speak of the devil, that sucks. Speak of the devil, B. Oh, seriously? Snakes, they were a formidable opponent after all. Oh. Damn. Got me good. Oh, I could hardly remember this level, though, doing it. Like, like it said, most of the times I casually play Donkey Kong. I, I don't even get up to this world anymore. Um, so I totally forgot about it. But I'm going to keep on trucking on. It's not too hard, all in all. I mean, that was my first death in it, so... I didn't do, wow, what a jump on that. Jeez. Um... Also, one other thing I've mentioned briefly is that I'm going to be playing Castlevania. That's going to be my new LP that's taken over the spot of the Ninja Gaiden LP that I just finished. Uh, and if you guys have any other um, Halloween-related games you want to see me play, maybe not even just like LP, but just like play. Like I was thinking like Nightmare on Elm Street, or, or I don't want to play Friday the 13th, I'm not going to bring that up. But uh, maybe Nightmare on Elm Street, because that, that kind of gets a bad rap. I mean, it's an LJN game, and LJN games for NES are pretty crappy. Uh, ooh, almost got me again. Fool me once. Shame on me, or shame on you, rather. Yeah. Damn, pulled like a George Bush there. Anyhow, but if there's any other uh, Halloween-related games you'd like to see me play, you know what I might play? I might just do like a little like playthrough first, like three or four levels of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, because uh, I saw It's Not a Beaver playing that uh, not too long ago, and it's a hard-as-hell game. Ooh, just like these elevators. Look at this. Oh, crap. Jeez. That's one downside of being Diddy, though. I can't jump on these big guys. Um... But uh, I saw It's Not a Beaver playing a little bit of it. I was hoping he was going to do a whole LP of it, because that game is hard as hell. It's like it, it's close to 50 levels, and you have to use a password system, and I'd be dying like crazy at some of those later levels. Man, anyone that's done a, done an LP of Zombies Ate My Neighbors, hats off to you, because it is hard. Just like this is ridiculous. Leap of Faith move, yes. Even if it's not on the screen. I do that all the time in Super Mario World, and I probably brought that up before, but I've been playing Super Mario World a little bit lately. It's, it's kind of a game I play like every year, I come come back to. Um, and I always do that in Super Mario World. Just jump, you know, fly, see what, see what happens. Just see where I end up. You never know. It normally turns out for the best, though. Just like this is turning out pretty well, all in all. Can't complain. Used to this elevator action. Oh, yeah. All right. I think we're coming up towards the end here. Oh, man. Ooh. Well, that was close. Oh, crazy elevator levels. There we go. There's the exit. That's all the time I have for you. Join me next time. We're doing the second part of this world. Two videos left until the end of Donkey Kong Country. Thank you so much for watching, guys. This has been the Johnny Cage. Subscribe, like, comment if you have not. I will see you guys next time.